welcoming everybody here to Hillsborough, Kansas at Tabor College. Today I'm joined with John Kimball here. So John, how you doing today? Good, ready for another good volleyball matchup. How are you doing today, Casey? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. So we just had to pause there for our prayer and our national anthem. But sorry for no commentary being there at the beginning. We were just kind of transitioning over from the soccer game. And so uh, Blue Jays lost both of those soccer games, they girls and boys. So here we're going to bring up our head coaches for this evening's game. We have from Bethel College, Adriana Leak. This is our first season her alma mater is Sterling College. John, I'll let you take over for the Tabor side. And we got Casey Quiggle, his first year head coach here for the Tabor College Blue Jays out of his alma mater, Central College. And so our team overview here is looking like Bethel College has an overall record of 15 and 6. Their KCAC record is 3 and 1. Obviously, they're located in Newton, Kansas, if you didn't know that. And then John will let you take over for the Tabor College. And Tabor College is 2 and 17 coming into tonight's matchup, and they are still searching for their first KCAC win on a record of 0 and 3. And so as we are getting ready to get underway here, we're kind of doing all the introductions and everything, so we can kind of give you guys the starting lineups. I'll go over Tabor's lineup here for you guys. So first off, we have number three, Emma Rhodes. She is from Fillmore, Oklahoma. We have Kiana Simpayo. She is a freshman outside here from Portugal. We have Lauren Tolbert. She's from Fort Worth, Texas. We have Tori Maldonado. She's from Temple, Texas. Tam Brandis is from Warrensburg, Missouri. Katie Lowry is from Auburn, California. Juliana Arnes is from San Antonio, Texas. And Callie Cathcart is from Holly, Colorado. So I'm going to have John take over here for the Bethel side. And starting tonight for Bethel, we have number three, senior Mia Loganbilt. Number four, Mia Roman. Number seven, Darian Loudon. Number eight, Maddie Chuck. Number 10, Julie Wilhite. Number 16, Katie Wilhelm. And number 20, Jordan Boone. It's because they kind of finish up introductions here. We have noticed that Tabor's record obviously isn't off to the start that they would like to be at. And we were kind of, in previous years, we've always talked about kind of what the cause of that is. But obviously, you see Bethel coming in with a pretty good record, John. What do you think they have to do today in order to take this win? Uh, well, the good thing is it's still early in KCAC play, so I'll have time to turn things around if you want to. It uh, comes down to the players. But I think the biggest thing tonight is just not have those unforced errors, the, the miss hit serves, uh, getting the kills out of play, just all the unforced errors that bit them a little bit more in that last match. Uh, get back to what they did against St. Mary a couple weeks ago, if you guys remember, they dominated the net fronts, got Callie involved, got Katie Lowry involved quite a bit. Just looking forward to that, see how they attack this. Definitely. And so... Kind of another thing we were talking about is that the soccer team, they lost both their games today, women's and men's, and so we hope that today will not be a losing day for the Blue Jays here on campus. Obviously, those soccer games were here at our stadium here at Tabor, and so if the Blue Jays could pull this one out, that would be big for Tabor to not go defeated by every team today. And an off week for Tabor College football as they currently stand 5-1 and one atop the KCAC conference right now. Definitely, so it looks like we're getting underway here so our line judges it looks like we have Noah Brown on the right side and he is an employee here at Tabor he's a kind of a face we see out there a lot and it's always line judging for us and he seems to make pretty good calls out there busy guy all right as we look to get underway here that is number eight Maddie Chupp a sophomore out of Indiana back to serve for Bethel College Kind of a little forward to show the way that Callie's going to just kind of set up. It looked like Lowry just kind of tipped that one there, but they're going to end up getting a point there. So exciting start for Tabor here as they kind of just went one, two, three hits, got over the net, and then let Bethany kind of make the errors on their side. And that sends Emma Rhodes back to serve for Tabor, first serve of the night for Tabor College. That was a big hit, but that's tipped the net by Lowry and will go out of bounds, so the score is now 1-1. Big kill by number 20, Jordan Boone for Bethel, sophomore out of Carter, Kansas. That sends number 16 back to serve, Katie Wilhelm, senior out of Mead. That's a really good serve right there. He's going to have a nice set, and Lowry's just going to 
And hit that one, but it looks like it was tipped at the line there, so Blue Jays are going to come over at that point. And that'll bring a substitution for Blue Jays. That brings in Fiona in for Kenna. Sends Cali Cathcart back to serve for the Blue Jays, up 2-1. You can see that replay coming in here. That ball was just barely tipped at the line. And there's the unforced error first of the night that we've talked about that we need to avoid. Brings the score back to 2-2. Sends number five back to serve for Bethel. Caitlin Shima, junior out of Topeka, Kansas. Lefty with the serve here. It failed put back by Bethel, but a good save by Fiona keeps the ball going. Fiona with a big throw there. Yeah, it looked like number eight sat back on that ball a little too long there, trying to make a play. That was Matty Chubb. Couldn't quite get to that ball. Leads to Tabor College point. Sends Maldonado back to serve. those unforced errors we were talking about. That's the two out of the three points right now for Bethel. Both serves into the net. Sends number one, Brooke Russell, sophomore, out of Little Elm, Texas. Just a long spike there by Alanis. Yeah, she just kind of got underneath that one a little bit. Didn't have that down angle on it to kind of force them in play. A couple miss hits here by Tabor. Gives Bethel their first lead of this first set. And that's kind of one of the keys for Tabor, John, that I've noticed is they have to get up early because we know that they kind of tire out. Just like without the depth though, it's yeah. easier to tire out. These long sets can take their toll on Tabor, as we've seen. Hopefully, ideally, they'd like to win this first set commandingly, getting into the second set. Save some energy. But tight right now at 4 4. Attempted tip play there. That wasn't. By number five with a tip there. Kaylin Shima tipped it a little out. All in each with the serve. And that was barely out right over there, but no ground kind of had to hop out of the way there. I would not want to be on the other side of that. That's I would hard. also be getting out of the way. <laughs> that sends number 10, Julia Julie Wilhite back to serve. Senior out of Haven, Kansas. A lot of locals on this Bethel roster. Fiona again, and she just kind of sails that one out of play there. Yeah, a lot of miss hits here early on. Hopefully that adjustment can be made before too much damage is done here. It's, it's Will Height back to serve again for Bethel as they are up 6-5 in the first set of the night. And Memo doing the best she can there, and that's going to result in a point for the Blue Jays, but Memo kind of knew that she was beaten on that ball there, so she just kind of tried to bat it down on the other side of the net. Nice easy put back there for Lauren Tolbert. A little slam dunk action at the net there. Well played, well played. Yeah. So kind of brand effect serve here for the Blue Jays. Good back and forth action this volley so far. That's going to get out. That'll lead to a kill for Callie Cathcart. The hammer. The hammer. Scores now 7-6. to six. Tabor is in two replay coming in here. She got all of that one. The that hammer is getting through. fed early tonight. Good sign for Tabor. Some miscommunication there on Bethel's side. Leads to a good tip. Good tip by Callie. Was now eight to six after that big play by Callie. Just kind of recognizing that 
those blockers got up in the net early and she just decided to tip it right over their head. The last two matches we've seen, there has not that tip play hasn't been open very much, but so far early on here, that tip play is pretty open so far against this Bethel defense. A great serve there by Kenna Brandis. Another tip. Oh, good save by 16, Katie Wilhelm. That was a good try there by Lauren Colbert, but that ball was just kind of kind of in an awkward place to be able to hit it. And those blockers were just right there, so she couldn't really do anything about that. But it's still a good rally by both sides there. That'll send number four, Mia Roman, back to serve the sophomore out of Kansas City. Big point there for the Blue Jays as the score is now nine to seven. If the replay comes in here, you can just see that block there. Just really didn't give them anything. They just kind of had to scramble for it on the Bethel side. Man, she can get up. Number six, Kyla Carter with the kill. That's out of Houston, Texas. We see some subs coming in here. We'll have number three coming in, number eight coming in for number six, and then one is also subbed out. As Mia Loganville coming in, and as well as Maddie Chubb. And Maddie Chubb will be back to serve with a taper lead of nine to eight. And also we have Tolbert coming out, as well as Aguilar here. Kind of a swim move there by Lowry. Big hit by Cathcart there, but these, these front three for Becker just oh. need to get up there. And that is counted in by Noah Brown, which is a great call over there by him to kind of stick there and watch that play for completion. You see the replay coming in here. I don't really have the best angle on that, but take our word for it, it was in. All oh, these gets there. stuffed at the net. Good set there by Emma Rhodes, just kind of an awkward angle, but both players did the best they could do there. Katie Wilhelm back to serve. A little miscommunication there between Emma Brandis and Tori Maldonado, but it's going to work out in favor of the Blue Jays. Kelly's on a roll early on here tonight. It's a good sign. She says it's a perfectly close shot by Callie there. She says now she's back to serve here for the Blue Jays. Scores 11 to 9. This one hits a little floater towards the back line. That's set nicely and tipped nicely, but Fiona recovers well. A good bump there by Callie, and they're going to set her back up here. Just yeah, a bit out. Barely out. So Noah Brown's very busy here on the Blue Jays side of the ball, which is good. Because Taylor Shepard, the other line judge, has not been very busy on her side, meaning that Bethel's not been putting too many away back there. Kaylin Shima back to serve, the lefty. Communication there by Bethel. The result in an out of bounds shot there by Katie Lowry, but she definitely had some floor space to work with there. Almost might have deflected off her hand a little bit. It was a great try by her, and that was almost it was almost in by the looks of it from up here. There's great a tip. hit play again. As the is going to sub in here for Lowry. 
And it looks like Lauren Tolbert's going to sub in for Maldonado there. It looks like these outside hitters are getting a little bit more respect from this Bethel team. Playing back in that back row pretty far off, and it opens up a lot of room for that tip play. May back to serve here, and she just kind of floats it over the net. And a big hit there. But the Blue Jays recover well. And that is going to result in a point for Tater, as that ball was just perfectly placed. I think that was kind of what Lowry was trying to do the first time. Not Lowry. Alan was trying to do the first time. And that kind of worked out. Doing a good job just finding the open spots on the floor right now. The Blue Jays up here 13 to 11. Big hit there. And number 14. Landry Merriman, freshman out of Springtown, Texas. And she got up and hit that ball pretty hard. And it was all Cathcart to to keep it in front of her there, but kind of a deflection as May and Lowry are both subbed out here. Maldonado back in the game. Another big tip play there by Tolbert. It's just no one's really home right now for Bethel on those tip plays. You see the replay coming here. That was just perfectly placed. Not much you need to defend that. Good effort there by Katie Wilhelm. What a big hit. At number 14, Andrew Merriman. Number 10, Julie Wilhite with the serve there. Kind of a miscue by the Blue Jays there. But they recover well. That's kicked out of bounds by William Tolbert there. And we kind of almost have as many Bethel fans here as we do Tabor fans, it feels like. Short drive from Newton, Kansas. Definitely, so our score is all even up here, 14 to 14. What a good serve there. We did recover well. We give Fiona a chance to kill it, and she does, as that ball is deflected out of bounds by the Buffalo defenders. And so 16, Katie Wilhelm's gonna come in here for number 10, Julia White. Excuse me, Julie White. Julie Wilhite. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's okay, you read at a fifth grade level. Oh, goodness. <laughs> There's a point there for Bethel College. It is now 15 to 15. More subs for the Bethel team here. Number four, we'll number seven coming in. We'll see if you can get to number 20. Our magic number 20 we've talked about first. As we are neck and neck here in Hillsboro. And that is just stuffed at the net on the Bethel defenders. They obviously have the height. And Noah Brown is going to call that in. That is a big, big kill for Cali Cats right there. And you see Mike Selleck and Jared Hedrick walking up the stairs there in the background. A lot of volleyball alumni in that corner as well. Haley Barda, Olivia Dirksen, and Melody Valencia here. Yeah, so we have some old Blue Jays here with Mike Selleck showing up. Oh, good play there by Kenneth Brandis to just kind of absorb some of that shot. Emma Rhodes gets up there. Good back row dig by Kenna. Probably did about all she could there. That's tip, and Kenna has been active at this point. Cast out with another opportunity here. That's what Kenna Miranda Aguilar to do there to get a hand on that one. That was perfectly placed. The score is 16 to 16, so we have a pretty, pretty close one here. Haven't seen Miranda Aguilar a lot on the floor in these past couple games. Good to see her out there getting some playing time. As she comes out for Lauren Tilbert. 
And then Lauren Tolbert subbed right back out. Good kill by Katie Lowry there. It's one thing doing this for a while now. Still don't quite understand the rotations. <laughs> no, I don't either. I think it's probably the most confusing thing in sports <laughs> how the same three people serve every time. Because I remember back in like high school PE, if we did that, we got in trouble. Couldn't do that, no. Everyone got a chance to serve. And a big hit there like half part. Chirps over here from the Bethel fans seems to have gotten a call there. But I don't know. To me, it looks we'll like they kept it up in the air. Might have to have, go, go have a word with this guy. Yeah, we might have, <laughs> we might have to go down there and talk to him. Oh, there it is. Little snake eyes didn't quite work snake that time. Snake eyes did not quite work that time. That is blocked out of bounds. 18-17 lead for Tabor as we're coming down the stretch here, the road to 25. And usually, we see Snake Eyes work every time as you see the big hit there on your screen by Callie Cathcart. It's deflected out of bounds by two Bethel defenders. Setting up Fiona. Ball's blocked out of play, so that'll be a kill awarded to Tabor College as they take a two point lead, 19 17. Still no timeouts here in this first set. Hope I don't jinx it. And right on cue, Bethel takes a timeout. Tabor takes a two point lead as we will take a quick break. We're back here in Hillsboro, Kansas. So after our timeout there, our score is still 19 to 17. Blue Jays over the Threshers. Kind of everybody's getting back in their spots here. And number 22, Callie Cathcart's gonna be back here to serve for the Hammer. Blue Jays. Hammer. Hammer. Yeah. Good block by Alanis at the net there. Now a three-point lead to the Magic number 20. For Tabor College, Shokai. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. It's kind of a floater serve there by Cathcart. And a big hit. Oh, oh my goodness. Heads up over there. Crowd control going on yeah. on that side of the court. Scores now 20 to 18. So as the Blue Jays are heating up, so are your commentators. Amen. Heating up. Oh. Oh, we have this fan down here helping out with the tip calls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tip Fiona. call won't help with that one. Yep, she hammers yep. that one home. That's Hammer Jr. <laughs> She's learning well. Hammer's got to pass the baton to somebody. So a sub out there. So Lowry leaves the court and May comes on the court. And Maldonado also leaves the court. And Tolbert comes on the court here. Or those that. substitutions I don't quite understand. No. Well, that one is just fish netted all the way back. Yeah, that was abominable. So May coming in, getting a point on her first serve of this 
time here. Yeah, if Tabor College scores another point here, I have a bad feeling the timeout's coming from Bethel's side. But a point for Bethel, so we might avoid that one. So the Thresher's trying to reach 20 here before the Blue Jays can reach 23. Do you know what a Thresher is? Yes. It's like a giant wheel. Ah, that was a shark. Uh, another logo is like this gear looking thing. So, oh. But it might be a shark. Not a, well, I mean, <laughs> uh, who knows? Sounds pretty accurate. It's a weird looking shark if it is. Oh. The old Kareem Abdul hook shot there. Oh, catapult. And the Blue oh, Jays reach the Jordan number. Almost mustered up there. 23-19, Blue Jays. Whatever you do, do not call a timeout here. Let's finish this first set strong. Cold cuts. Is that one is called out of bounds by Taylor Shepard. The score is 24-19. All the Blue Jays fans are going to get on their feet after this timeout. So we go into this timeout, score 24 to 19, Tabor. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. And we welcome you back here to Tabor College as Tabor leads 24-19. All in East Pack to serve, looking to put this first set away in favor of Tabor College. Good thing is Bethel has no more timeouts, so. <laughs> Never leave the court without a full, full pocket. Yeah, not gonna do any, not gonna do any good. Oh, great recovery there by Maldonado. That is in. Oh, little call there by Taylor Shepard. Little indecisive. Little indecisive. It's okay though. I think it's her first time on the job. And Noah Brown's a seasoned veteran over there. He is usually quick and at it. Service comes in here. Oh, oh off the face. Dome run. Cap card just kind of laughs that one off. Ball kind of rode, hops there. rode the net a little bit there. Yeah. The so Blue Jays take set number one from the Threshers here. And we will take another quick little break as the girls switch sides here. We will be right back here in Hillsboro. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. 
Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. Many of you know that the Iton Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Iton Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at itonagency.com. Think about how good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on, the neighbors next door who always bring your favorite buffalo dip, your in-laws who know you need silence during the clutch plays, and everyone who knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Paul Brooks. Paul is here to get to know you and understand your life, so he can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm Agent Paul Brooks in Wichita at 316-721-8181. We'll see who can strike first here as Emma Rhodes is back to serve, and she's been pretty good with her serves today. As that is going to be hit out. Ace. Kind of a miscue there. That is an ace. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that is true. Been using my free time to study up on some volleyball terms. Ah. Big play there by Kenna Brandis. For the set, results, and a point for Bethel. So number eight back here for serve, that is Maddie Chuck. Kind of doing some, some literature on the ball there. As we get our bump, and then a double bump, and then a triple bump over the net. And here's a set with all of Oh, my. Great save there by Kenna Brandis. Oh, wow, great recovery. Blue Jays are juiced up. Juiced up and ready to roll. They are ready to roll. So Cathcart back here to serve for the Blue Jays. That scores 
as Fiona's going to come in for Kenna here. Point pressures, so I suppose two to two. So both teams playing this second set close after Blue Jays take the first one. Katie Wilhelm back to serve for the Threshers. But if you're just now tuning in, as we said, the Blue Jays take set one. And that was a very back and forth matchup there. As the Blue Jays are going to collect that point. But first set was a very back and forth matchup until kind of we got to that 17 point mark for Tabor. And then they just kind of took over. As May is back to serve here for the Blue Jays. And Tori Maldonado, Katie Lowry coming up on the sideline for the Blue Jays. They might get subbed back in here pretty soon. Some weird chance from the Tabor bench. But yeah. hey, whatever <laughs> works. Set by May, double set. Great effort by May getting the getting back, the ball back over the net. And that is going to be a point for the Threshers, but that was very hard fought. Point probably should have been over with a lot sooner than it was. And May's going to come off the court for Lowry here. And it looks like... And Lowry comes, circles yeah, off I again. I don't understand that. Whatever works, works. One of these days, we're going to figure that out, and we're going to become the number one broadcast team in the KCAC. In America. In America. Joe Buck who? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Good point there for the Blue Jays. They move ahead five to three. And Allen is back here to serve for Tabor. Oh, that. Huh. I, I don't. I feel like that's illegal. What that just happened there? That's a new one. And again, we have this Bethel fan down here yelling, "Tip!" What's that called when you do the underhand? That's got to be a lift. A lift? Yeah, lift. That lift. was a lift. I 100% yep. will say that was a yep. lift. I guess they don't call that. I guess we'll start shouting instructions like this Bethel fan down here. Lift. We should interview this Bethel fan. Yeah, let's see. What he, maybe he has some insight. Maybe he has some insight on what's going on in this volleyball game. I think he yells tip every time, but. And he yeah. whistles very loudly well as well. Yeah. I can't whistle at all, so I got to give credit where credit's due. Nice whistle, dude. As he is yelling tip every time. <laughs> well, he's right. He's right 50% of the time. 50% of the time, he's 100% right. What a guy. <laughs> can't, can't argue with those numbers. Number one, Brooke Russell, back to serve for Bethel. Out of Little Elm, Texas, which is fitting, being she's 5'2". Good recovery by the Tabor defense there, sets the Balinese. And into the net by number six, Kyla Carter. So we're all even here, score six, six. So Brandis back to serve here, and she's been pretty good today at serving, also playing that back row really well. And she's had some rockets head out of her, and she just kind of recovers on all of them, which is good. Oh my goodness. That 
that was hit. I mean, that was that was absolutely ripped. Yeah, if Bethel College had a baseball team, I just found their starting pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> she hit that ball hard. This one's number 10, Julie Wilhite back to serve, the senior. So Wilhite with like a little bit of a floater there. Half part hits that one, and that's just going to be a default point because the refs were like, that is, yep, that uh, is hit hard. Yeah. Uh, so 7-7 seven, seven our score now, so we're just back and forth like we were in that first set. Hoping the Blue Jays can kind of pull away with one here. But we have seen many times the Blue Jays win the first two. I'm not going to manifest that. Half part. With another big kill there from Blue Jays. Up 8-7 now. And so Tolbert here Thanks, for the Riley. Blue Jays. And a big hit there. Craft car with a nice bump there. Bump nice set, set spike. Oh, and then bump again. So Rhodes with a nice set, feeding Cali. And that hits the ceiling. So automatically, if it hits the ceiling, I guess it's a point for the Blue Jays. Well, I don't think that's a rule, but. Uh, it should be. Yeah. Because who decided to put the ceiling in here? Yeah. yeah. That guy, poor girl. Oh, another something call. Uh, by the fan sitting next to us. I will figure out what that call means one of these days. I'm just gonna take a stab and say like a net violation maybe. Yeah, so Mia Roman. Back to serve for Bethel here, and Cathcart is kind of hitting one over barely there, but it's just perfect. Yeah, that fan didn't yell tip that time. That's probably why they didn't catch onto that one. <laughs> he is actually the coach of the <laughs> Bethel Threshers here. Good effort there by Tori Maldonado there, and she just kind of gets underneath that one. So Mia Roman still serve here for the Threshers. Our score is 9-9. Nine, nine. Rhodes with a nice shot. And thanks for that fan yelling tip, but it did not work out for the Threshers there. He must not have heard him. The score is now 10-9, Blue Jays. Yeah, we might have to yell tip a little louder. Emma Rhodes back to serve for the Blue Jays. That might have been long, but Kenna decides to play it anyway. That's gotta yeah. be tip, that's a tip. There we go, thank you. That's I, a fingertip. I don't see much from up here, but I saw that one. That's why, that's why we're the best at what we do. We are good. Floater. That's what he said down there. He said floater, informing the girls that the ball was floating over the net. Might have like an Astro scandal there on our hands. There was the tip. Yeah, and he looks very frustrated down there. He Until must he starts not. banging on a trash can, I don't think we have an Astro scandal, but <laughs> never know how he communicates the signs as a timeout is called there by the Threshers, so we will go into break. Our score is 12-9 here in Hillsboro. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of
At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need when you need it at BombGars. So we are back here after that lovely commercial from BombGars. Great place. So Emma Rhodes with a good serve there. She's going to just... Now, Bethel College making a mass of substitutions. See, none of their players circle right on out of the game. Not quite sure if that means something, but. I don't know. Regardless, that brings number eight, Maddie Chupp, in to serve for the Threshers. Oh. We're just going to give that point to Bethel there because they say Cathcart hit that one off the upright pole. Which, was, I don't know, I couldn't I obviously mean, see it eh. from up here. It was moving. Boom. Wow. Hammer with the hammer there. As 13 to 11 is our updated score here. In hammer the nails that ball right down in the floor. And now she is leaving the court. And they are rejoicing on the Bethel sideline. And that brings Miranda Aguilar, little sister of the famous baseball player here, Leo Aguilar. Leo Aguilar was a heck of a baseball player. Now he is a grad assistant here at Taylor College. And that is an ace. His clutch just like her brother with the ace. Runs through the veins of the Aguilars. Ice, ice in the veins of the Aguilar family. So Aguilar with another good serve there. Good and save. Maldonado with an awesome save. And that ball has left the building. <laughs> it actually went out the doors. Yep. And it is in the parking lot rolling around now. Don't oh, never mind, there it is. It comes back in. So number 16 gonna serve here. That is Katie Wilhelm. So Thresher's hoping they can take this lead back. That was loud. Good attempt to block by Bethel up front, but deflects it out of the play. That'll be Tabor's point. It's to take a three-point lead here, 15 to 12. As Tabor won the first set, and they're hoping to win the second, take a two-nothing lead. Which I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing at this point. I don't know either. We will find out though. There's a big block Stop. there. Oh. As the sideline blows up for Tabor at that big block there by Lauren Dolbert. Some dances going on down there as well. And they all stop when we put the camera on. <laughs> Some dances going on up here too. Kind of a kick serve there, if that's a thing, by May. There's a southpaw. Alanis just has to get that one over. Point, Blue Jays. And the old four hit. Bold play, but it just doesn't work in volleyball. It gets called every time. See if we can see another kick serve here from Nay. What exactly is a kick serve? Where you kick when you serve. Oh. And it's very efficient. As another weird substitution comes in there. We're just fed up with it at this point. We don't know what's going on. It's a good thing we're not referees. Oh! And I smell a Bethel timeout coming pretty soon here. 18 to 12. It's 
And May back to serve again, and there is the timeout. I'm good with this. You are I, good at this. I'm good at feeling the momentum. But 18-12, Tabor College is on a roll here. We'll take a quick break. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsborough and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at HillsboroFordKS.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. So we're back here as our timeout wraps up. Before we left, Tabor was on a roll there. I think it was six unanswered points in a row. So it scores 18 to 12 now. So this is pretty exciting to see. Pretty good momentum in the Blue Jays right now. Yeah, the momentum is definitely a factor here. As everybody's clapping, and Line Judge holds up two and a zero. John, while we were at break, said that his degree here at Tabor was in momentology. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And what is the definition of that again? Ah, it's just uh, recognizing momentum and when to use those timeouts. Because I've been pretty on tonight in smelling out those timeouts, and I think I owe that to the Tabor College education in momentology. <laughs> Number five back to serve for Bethel, Caitlin Shima. Another southpaw there. As Emma Rhodes sets one there. And Tolbert just says, not today. Maldonado with a good hustle there. Fiona with the tip. Yep, yep. Good call <laughs> by the, the fan out here. I'm a firm believer if that fan was not here, it would be a much more lopsided game. Tip. There it is. I read that one too. Point for Tabor regardless. You just probably blew out someone's speakers at home. Yep, sorry. Big volleyball fan up here. Big I've gotten, volleyball fan. I've gotten in this game quite a bit. My daughter recovers on that one. And that has sailed a little, along of the back line there. A little long. So. A couple Tabor Blue Jays asking for a tip call was not awarded. No, it was not. And so a lot of pressure. Substitutions coming here for the Threshers. A lot of pressure on those. A lot of pressure on those flaggers down there to try yeah, to read I, the play. I, yes, I couldn't agree more. They do a diligent job. That, that one uh, sailed, no tip call. But the, looks like the judge was kind of listening to what the Blue Jays were saying there. Coach Quiggs over here on the Tabor College bench is, he's a very calm man. He seems like he's ready to strike at any time. Mr. Miyagi-esque. And a great point there for the Blue Jays as that one just goes in the net. So Tabor reaches the magic number 20 before the Threshers. And once again, we kind of get into that territory again where it's if Tabor College takes this second set, will fatigue come into play for these final three? Will they be able to slam the door and get out of this? And I think Coach Quiggs is doing an awesome job tonight of kind of subbing people in and out. Like we've seen Miranda Aguilar on the floor and stuff and a few other girls that don't usually sub in as much, but that's, you know, obviously they're winning using more more players here and there, just kind of fresh legs, as they would say. 
a couple people we haven't seen tonight who was on the floor and made big impacts in the last home game. Paulina, and she hasn't seen the floor yet tonight. And Emily Ellenberg has not seen the floor yet tonight. And those are two people who had big impacts in that last home game. Actually, Emily Ellenberg was just on the floor for one play. Okay, I stand corrected. But they did one of those weird subs again, and I she was gone before. I, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. As a timeout is called there by Coach Quiggle. Our score is 20 to 17 here in Hillsboro. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. As we are back here after that brief timeout by Tabor, it looks like Coach Cookles is kind of on the side just telling the girls that they're that close to pulling out the second set. And obviously something works as Callie Cathcart comes out hot and just hits that one. So Hammer with another opportunity. And that time she cashes in, 21-17. Another sub coming in here. The 16 for number 10 for Bethel. And Lauren Tolbert back here to serve for the Blue Jays. That one is out of reach. Outstretch arms of number 12, Lauren Tolbert. So it scores 21 to 18. And so Bethel just kind of keeps closing that gap between them and the Blue Jays. Number four, Mia Roman back to serve for Bethel. Oh, great play there by Kenna Brandis. The tip there up at the line. They just keep feeding Callie, and she just keeps hitting it hard. Oh. Uh, I don't know if they're going to call. They called that a double hit on Kenna Brandis there. Yeah, I don't know if I saw that one. Yeah, I think I saw one hit. It's number four here to serve. For the oh, sorry, for Bethel. Not... She's just going to hit into the net, so that was kind of short-lived there. Number Rhodes, number three, back here to serve for the Blue Jays. As our camera pans over to her, she's been pretty good with her serves tonight, also with her sets. She's been really feeding Callie, and Callie's cashing in all of her opportunities. That one just gets past the outstretch arms of Cathcart. Scores 22 to 20. That is Maddie Chup back to serve for Bethel. The two-point ball game here. Big hit by Cathcart. That was a kill and a half. She is like the modern-day Chris Kyle out here. As you can see, that ball perfectly placed in that back right corner. Miranda Aguilar in for Cali on the serve here. 23 to 20 is our score. And that one is just a little bit deep. So Miranda's going to be subbed out here for Cathcart. 23-21. So we have a nail-biter here, folks. 
But it seems like Bethel won't go away here. They just kind of keep fighting back. This will be huge for Tabor to try to put away this set, give themselves a little bit of a cushion here to play with the rest of this match. Cathcart with a bump there. Emma with a big save. Cathcart with another bump, and no one is home. Brings the score within one here. And these Bethel fans are getting loud in here. I think it's just that one guy. <laughs> Big Bethel fan. He Huge. does love his volleyball there. Little floater over the net there. Set up for Ellenberg. We talked about her earlier. And she is doing well with her opportunities. As she puts forth as much effort as she can there, but it's just going to be deflected back down to the ground. So. All square here after Tabor had an eight point lead, 18 to 10 at the beginning of this. And we're gonna have a timeout there by Coach Quiggles. Our score is all tied up 23-23 going into this break. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. And welcome back as number 16, Katie Wilhelm, is to serve for Bethel and now all of a sudden tie a ball game. I don't know if you can hear this guy yelling from home, but he is getting into it for Bethel. As Bethel takes their first lead of this set. 24-23, so you have to win by two. It's not first team to 25, so... And Tabor can get a point here. It's not over. Bethel gets to 25. That's in. Oh, wow. That is big. 24-24 as that block was defected, deflected excuse me, back into bounds. And land just barely in bounds in that far corner over there. Great call there by Shepard, the line judge. Maybach serve here. She is kind of a serving specialist for the Blue Jays and does a really good job in all of her opportunities. And she also does a great job keeping that ball in front of her there and bumping it back up. And Ellenberg with a big hit there. Good block there by Tolbert up front. So the Blue Jays are showing some fight here. Oh my goodness. That was hit hard. 25-24. Win by two, as I had mentioned. So a lot of subs coming in, a lot of weird subs all over the place. Bethel has two coming in. Blue Jays have two coming in. I swear those people just came on the court, but we do not have the volleyball knowledge that two commentators should. <laughs> Number five, Caitlin Schumann to serve for Bethel with the game on the line here. Oh, oh needs for the hit just out of bounds as that'll even up the score here. One to one heading into set three and we'll be back after this little intermission. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. 
Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157. At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. Many of you know that the Eitzen Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Eitzen Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at EitzenAgency.com. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. So welcome back here as we come out of that timeout there. And before we went to break, Bethel staged a pretty immaculate comeback there as they held the Blue Jays to like four points on their like 10 to make a comeback. Yeah, they went on a hot little run there. I think it was, what so, it was 18-10. So let me do a quick little math here. That's 16 to uh, six. They went on a 16 to six run there. Fan yes, it. they did. But Look the Blue that. Jays kind of fought back a little bit. That momentology degree also has some mathematics in it. Yeah, I had to get the little hamster running on the wheel upstairs to get that <laughs> one going. He's been on vacation for a while, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, we are on fall break. That's why you notice there's not a lot of attendance here tonight. Most students are gone home for the week. Oh, tip. As the Threshers come out hot here and take that first point. So let's see if the Lady Jays get hit with their third set woes as they have quite a bit. Hopefully they can stop that and win the second set. But we will see. I had some literature on it there. Oh, right in the net. That's not how you play volleyball. Maddie Chup there trying to go with the overhand instead of just playing it safe. And the Rhodes back here to serve for the Blue Jays. Scores tied one to one here. Tip. A big hit there by Cathcart. Just kind of connects with the net a little bit. Oh. Now I'm just going to have to take her medicine here and kind of get that one over the net. Ooh, good hustle play there by Emma Rhodes, but. Pujols just can't scramble to recover that one. 2-1 pressures. Number 16, Katie Wilhelm back to serve for Bethel College.
play comes in here. Point here for Bethel as it's now three to two in their favor. That'll send number five into serve, Caitlin Shima. Katie Lauer trying to go with the back corner snipe, doesn't quite work. Let's see if Blue Jays can keep this alive, and they do. They get it back over on a great defensive play there by Callie and Tori. Callie can't quite get back in position for that one as Bethel takes a 4-2 lead now. And the road's at the set there to Ellenberg. A little bit behind her. Yeah. Big kill there by Mia Loganville out of Heston, Kansas. It's kind of tough because Emma is tasked with being perfect down there. That's kind of one thing in volleyball that I've noticed is setters don't really get enough credit, but they're you know 90% of the of the kills. And so and it's the hard part, but the placement of those sets is definitely challenging as that one's called out. That was Paulina Kowalska who gets her first action on the night. Sends that a little bit long. But she put a little steam on that one. Paulina sighting. Third set in. Good tip back by Emma to keep that play alive and a good kill by Katie Six, Lowry. Three is our score now. A couple of field goals up on the board. <laughs> Looks like that Thursday night football game the other day. Oh, yeah, that was brutal. Never again. Man, no. They wanted, like me to, they wanted me to call that one, and I refused. <laughs> and we have a real barn burner coming up this Thursday, too. Not a, not a very good one on that. Don't not remind me. Either. Don't remind me. Let's, let's, let's focus in on <laughs> the co good college volleyball we have in front of us, and not next, night's, next Thursday's Thursday night football. It's kind of an arid play there for the Blue Jays. Number 19, Katie Lowry is going to sub in for May here. And then sub, wait, what? And then, so then Maldonado is going to come in for her. So whatever they're doing there, they, it is working. Emily Ellenberg sends that ball to its home. The ground. Yes. Seven, four thrashers. The Tabor not looking as sharp as they did in the first two sets. But also we saw Bethel kind of do the same thing. Didn't look very sharp for a period of time. And then all of a sudden, boom, there they, here they were as, that is an ace, folks. Ace. Ace. Juliana Alanis, the southpaw with the ace. She's got that spin to it. Lefties are weird. She hits another one. And Lauren Christensen with her first action of the night hammers that one home. As the Blue Jays are starting to sub in, some people haven't quite seen the floor yet tonight and they're having an impact right now. Closing that gap. Great effort to keep that ball off the ground by Cathcart there. In. That is in. That is in, folks. We, and are, we tied. are tied here. 7-7, seven, seven, John. And that is tipped by all Nice. There's going to be a thresher point there. So Tabor is looking to take their first lead here. 
of this set. And now we are eight, seven Threshers. It's number 10 here. Back to serve for the Threshers. That is Julie Ohite. And that is a big kill and by Ellenberg. Another Ellenberg. kill by Ellenberg. So she has definitely made some improvements because. And I can see a timeout coming here. Oh, we will talk about that. No, no, no timeout. Time I guess I was wrong. So kind of what I was saying there, as you can see, is Ellenberg got up way above the net there. That was kind of what she was struggling with being here, was hitting the balls in the net. But tonight, she has been rather perfect, which is a great improvement to see as she's a big player for the Blue Jays. Good reaction by Cathcart. Yeah, Cathcart then hammer it. Oh, not quite. Good play there by number one for Bethel. Blocked in the net by Christensen. Nice. Cathcart. I don't know what he said there. Uh, it was kind of a... A hook shot. And that is in. A swing and a miss in the back row. I thought she was going to do it again. That was Brooke Russell in the back row. Couldn't quite play that one right. Tabor with their first lead now. 9-8 in this third set. Brandis with the serve. Oh. I oh, couldn't quite that. get that one back into play, but great effort there by Emma Rhodes to make it even playable on that third hit. A couple, a couple subs here. Nine, nine. Oh, Merriman and number five, Caitlin Shima coming out. Mia Roman back to serve. Kind of a floater over the net there by Roma. Hammer. 10-9. Another substitution, number seven coming out. That is Darian Loudon. Number 22 comes in, here. Harley Hunton. Ball was tipped. Out of Hammer put that one to bed. Tolbert back to serve. Great, keep it alive, get it over, good play. Oh, are they gonna call that a double? Yes, they're gonna call that a double. I don't know how they can see that. Do you listen for it or what? Like, cause I, I don't know. Like if you ask me, no, that was a singular hit. I firmly disagree. 10-10 our score here. Cathcart going for another big kill, and that one gets down. Chup going for the pancake, can't quite get there. Emma Rhodes serving, 11 to 10 lead right now for Tabor. A good serve by Emma Rhodes. That's blocked at the net. By number 20, Jordan Boone. 11-11, John, make a wish. I'm not supposed to say my wish out loud. <laughs> okay, make your own wish then. I'll make mine too. Done. Done. Good serve there. Double hit! Are you guys calling for a double hit? I don't see it at all. Good block. Double hit that. But not good enough. As that lands on and Bethel's here side. Here comes Miranda Aguilar subbing in for Cathcart here to serve. I'm gonna put, give my microphone, or actually John's gonna give his microphone to Leo Aguilar here. Leo, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. Casey, how are you doing? So if you don't know about Leo Aguilar, he is a probably a Hall of Fame baseball player here at Tabor, but his sister is number seven, Miranda Aguilar. So oh, yeah. Leo, is it awesome seeing your sister out there playing? Dude, it is. It is awesome. Hey, she got a point. Nice. Nice. nice so let's go. You recently took over a grad assistant position at Tabor. How's that going? You know, it's, it's a change, but I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it for sure. So how's the baseball team looking this year for Tabor? 
We're looking pretty good, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, coming in, we definitely weren't expecting to have what we have, but after seeing a few fall scrimmages and those practices, man, I'm excited. Well, definitely me too. So what do you think, well, what would you set Tabor's odds at right now to win the KCAC? What do you oh. think we have a good chance? Odds? Oh yeah, definitely. We got a chance. Well, Number well, one. That is awesome, Leo, to hear you say that. So I'm going to give the mic back here to John. We appreciate your time, Leo. Here you go, John. So that was Leo Aguilar, everybody, and we really appreciate him giving us some time. But John and I are both baseball players here at Tabor. We're both pitchers, and we've had a lot of opportunities to throw to Leo. The heck of a catcher is that point goes in favor of Bethel. So it goes 12 to 14 Bethel. But kind of back to what we were saying about Leo is his sister came here after Leo had already been here for two years. And she's really seeming to enjoy volleyball, which is awesome, as Leo enjoyed baseball. And so it was really good to have him up here, John. Because that is hit long out of bounds. Bethel made a little bit of a run while Leo was up here. They did. I mean, yeah, That's going to lead to a Tabor College timeout as Bethel now has a 15 to 12 lead in this third set, and we will be right back. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process of preparing a God-honoring estate plan. Many donors of Tabor College have used this service to create their plan and have chosen to leave a gift to the college, a gift that will have a lasting impact on future generations of Tabor students. Learn more at mbfoundation.com slash Tabor and get started on your plan today. MB Foundation, giving meaning to money. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. And we welcome you back here to Tabor College. As we said before, 15-12 lead for Bethel. And number five, Kaitlyn Shima to serve. Good recover there by Cathcart. Yeah, it might have been tipped. Oh, I pride myself on being an unbiased commentator, and I'm pretty sure that was tipped. Yeah, I'm, oh, hey, I am a biased commentator, so <laughs> I don't care. That's why we're that's why we're good. That's why we're a good team. His nay is back here to serve for the Blue Jays for 15-13 in favor of the Threshers. As you can hear, that one fan. Looks like the captain for Bethel is going to have a conversation with the up ref. Judge. Judge. Yeah, same thing. I don't know what they what they call her. Let's just call her, we're going to refer to her as the up judge. Yeah. Up, up referee judge. Yes. So May still to serve here for the Blue Jays. I don't understand why they have to have a messenger. Seems like a coach should just be able to walk right up to that stand and talk to him. I, if I was a coach, I would. <laughs> you got to assert the power. <laughs> Hammered home by number 10, Julie Wilhite for Bethel. 16-13, Bethel. Some subs come in for Bethel here. We have number one back to serve here for the Thresher, that's Brooke Russell. Ellenberg with a set there. Great shot by her. Bethel able to play that tip with the help of their oh my good fans, but the, nothing they can do about that one. Paulina Kowalska comes in and hits that one hard. 
She subs out for Alanis. Back to serve now. A long serve there. One of those unforced errors we talked about in the very beginning of the broadcast. As Bethel's kind of maintaining that three point lead as we inch, we inch closer to 20. Snake Eyes. Good Snake Eye recovery there by the Threshers. Ellenberg. Yup. 17 to 15. Will Height not able to get to that one as it deflects off the net. And she now subs out for the libero. Wilhelm. Wilhelm and Will. Wilhelm and Will Height. Oh. Yeah. That's a good reading. A weird oh, tip wow, there. Weird. But played nonetheless defensively. Hammer. Big opportunity there for Tabor to to get a point, and that just kind of deflects off Cathcart kind of right into the net. It was just kind of all over the place there, but Tabor showing some signs of life here. Mia Roman subs in and goes back to serve. Oh, hammer. And Christensen just kind of missed the ball there. Eight, or I'm sorry, 19, 15, four point lead for the Thrasher, so. Hopefully Tabor can reach 20 before the Thrushers, but five points compared to one point, a little. That is not even. That is not even. Yeah. And there is a magic number 20 for Bethel. 2015. Quigs might want to use a timeout here. Momentology. And there it is, timeout Tabor College. What can I say? 2015 Bethel as we head into the break here. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. We are back here at Tabor College. 20 to 15 is our score in favor of the Thrashers. Number four, back to serve here, Mia Roman. And she seems like she served pretty good today. Beating Hammer. Oh, that looked pretty close. Oh, they're calling a tip though. So is that a point? Yes, 20 to 16, point Tabor. Oh, and Tolbert back to serve here for the Blue Jays. Woo. Yeah. Good job on the recovery there by Tabor. If they're up all this way. Oh, and that is tipped out by Katie Lowry. 21 16. Which sub comes in here. A couple subs actually. Number three coming in for number one. And then we're going to have number eight coming in for number six. Then we're going to have um, the Blue Jays side of the ball, Colbert setting out, as well as Christensen. 
In comes Kenna Brandis and Tori Maldonado. Hammer hits that one hard. Thank you for that fan yelling tip. The girls would not have known. Block. And thank you for John yelling block. 21-17 now. As Emma Rhodes is going to be back here to serve for the Blue Jays. Callie's just hitting them hard when she's getting a chance. Out. Us out. 21 18 now, folks. <laughs> that kill was Haley Wright, the freshman out of Houston, Texas. No, I apologize. Harley Hunton, a junior out of El Dorado Hills, California. You ever been there, John? I have. Really? It's a nice place? It is very nice. Yeah. 22-18 here. Half guard. Great reactions there to slam the ball into the defender's hand and then recover. And she is just all over the court right now. Just That's a miss hit there. 23 18. Another big block there. Again, that was Harley Hunt on the block. Is that now extended to 24-18? Game point right here for Bethel with number 16 back to serve, Katie Wilhelm. Bethel looking to take the two to one match lead. We just have to kind of just take their medicine on that one and that. Is the final score for set three 25 18? So the Threshers go up two to one. And we are going to switch sides here in Hillsboro. We will be right back after about a two minute and 30 second break. Think about how good it feels when people really get you. Like the friends who come over when a big game is on, the neighbors next door who always bring your favorite buffalo dip, your in-laws who know you need silence during the clutch plays, and everyone who knows about your special post-win fist bump. It's kind of like having a State Farm agent like Paul Brooks. Paul is here to get to know you and understand your life, so he can help make it easy for you to protect what's important. Get an agent that gets you and your fist bumps. Call State Farm agent Paul Brooks in Wichita at 316-721-8181. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic is a supporter of Tabor College and proud to treat our Tabor students and athletes. Panzer Chiropractic Clinic offers affordable chiropractic care for the entire family. We offer spinal adjustments and cold laser therapy, decompression and flexion distraction therapy, and are board certified in acupuncture as well as DOT certified. Come see us at 122 South Main Street in Hillsboro or call Panzer Chiropractic Clinic for an appointment today at 620-947-3157.
At BombGars, we want to be your one-stop shop. From DeWalt power tools to workwear and footwear, plus seasonal goods, livestock feed, pet food, and so much more. Family owned and operated for more than 70 years, we knock ourselves out to deliver legendary customer service. And with more than 100 stores serving customers from the Midwest to the Rockies, we strive to have what you need. We are back here in Hillsboro, and you can see everybody doing the YMCA. And some chants going on here by the Bethel sideline. Emma Rhodes back to serve for the Blue Jays. This fourth set is a must-win set for Tabor College as they trail two to one. The elimination set. Great bump there by Brandis. Oh, 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 there it goes. Uh, good recovery there by Bethel. Point, Blue Jays, 1-0. Looks, like, looks like Bethel's taken away that tip play that was wide open in that first set. Yeah, now they're starting to defend it well. Tabor's looking for some other answers on offense. See the replay coming in. I was just out of the reach there. Oh! Must have been just a tick out of bounds there. Give the point there oh. to the Blue Jays. 2 0 our score here. So they must have said I was tipped at the line. 3 0 Blue Jays. As that one is air milled. Past the black. Yeah, past the black line there. And so Rhodes on a 3 0 streak here. And it is put away there. 3-1 is our score after a nice kill there. So a lot of subs coming in here for Bethel. Number eight, Maddie Chubb back to serve. Blue Jays looking for a side out to get the ball right back. Serve. Good serve there, but like that point is going to go for Bethel there as Cathcart had a great opportunity there. He was just kind of... Was it that pole up there? Stifled up the line, yeah. It's kind of an odd, odd double hit there by Christensen. It's all tied up 3-3. And so if Tabor doesn't win this set, and Bethel will take the match. Right now our score is two sets to one in favor of Bethel. And if you're just joining us, it's been kind of a back and forth matchup here. That is out. Kind of Brandis there on the chase, and she, she recognized that was out, so she let it be. But as I was saying, if you're just joining us, Tabor took the first set, and then Bethel takes the next two. They were a pretty good opportunity to take the second set as our, they kind of, they won an eight point 
lead. They're up 18 to 10. And the Threshers, but they just couldn't pull it out as they let them come back and end up winning that set. And then last set was kind of dominated by Bethel, but they ended up kind of making a comeback. So, John, if they want to win this set, Blue Jays, that is, what do you think they have to do? Is this it's kind of a 0 0 ball game right here when the tied score is 4 4? Uh, they're going to have to find ways to create offense other than that tip play. Bethel is pretty well taking that away. As I mentioned, that was pretty available in that first set, and they have taken it away. Just trying to find some open holes out there. Ooh. Or just hit rockets right at them. That works just Hammer as down. well. 5 4. Our score is Ellenberg. Puts that one away. Yeah, usually you want to hit it where they ain't, but. Uh, if you hit it hard enough, I don't want to be there. So. Yikes. May with the serve coming in here. Set. And the kill. Slipped out by Cowie. Ellenberg just didn't get up high enough there, I don't think. And couldn't create that down angle on the ball, but she hit that one hard as well. So she doesn't struggle with hitting the ball hard. It's just she struggles with that height and that angle getting it down into play. But boy, when she does, it's pretty automatic. Number five, Kaitlyn Shima in the serve. A little too much on that one by Alanis. Six five, our score. Favor of Bethel here. Mm. And a snake eye attempt there. Nope. And a kill. Can't do it like Emma can. Sets up Emily Ellenberg perfectly. Her to hammer that one home. Back to six all here. Ellenberg is getting a lot of opportunities this set, and she's cashed in on most of them. And you see that one is just perfectly placed in between two Bethel defenders. And another one. As that same fan we've been talking about would say that Ellenberg is getting lucky. He's very into this game. <laughs> Absolutely rife with a calf heart. Very vocal. Brooke Russell with the serve for Bethel. And Ellenberg gets blocked After there. After about five going her way, one finally doesn't. And that one goes in the net. Long serve by Russell. Brings the score back to 8-all. As we've seen most early on in most of the sets, it's been neck and neck here. Second and third set saw some separation once we got past 10. Brand is back here to serve for the Blue Jays. 8-8 is our score here. Good hard serve there by Brandis. Is very active on this play. Hammer hits that one hard. A great effort by Maldonado and Cathcart there, but just can't go their way. 10 8 is our score now in favor of the Freshers. Julie Wilhite back to serve for Bethel College. Uh, 
Oh, that's uh, got to be a turn for the Blue Jays. Yeah, she, seemed like she hit that, she hit that, that three that. times. Oh, that's tip. That's tip. And that looked very clearly tipped. The rest will have a discussion here. As the replay comes in here, you can see that that was definitely tipped. Absolutely no doubt about it. But obviously the judge there cannot see that, but you'd think this judge here on the close end could, and they're gonna have a meeting here. And I have a feeling this is gonna be overturned. Look pretty tipped to me. And we're gonna see if we can bring in another replay here. But that is overturned in favor of the Blue Jays, and that was that was obviously <laughs> tipped as we're gonna bring in this replay and just show the spin on that ball change, which is clear indication of a tip. So a good call there by the officials to get together and make the right call. You could clearly see the spin change on that ball right there. Good effort by Cathcart to get the point there. And shout out to our replay team doing an awesome job for us here, getting you guys arguably the best stream you will find I saw in, the in the KCAC. So it's 10-9 well, here. Bethel. Long discussion here after this call. All right, looks like we will continue playing here. All right, Toll, we're back to serve. And that is deflected out of play. Big kill there by number six, Kyla Carter. Gives Bethel the lead 11 to 9. A couple of subs are going to come in here. For the Threshers, they're back to serve again. Mia the Roman. Is Mia Roma. She hits a little floater serve over the net. And Cathcart is going to take that point. Another big kill there up front. That was by number 20, Jordan Boone. Candace gave a lot of effort there, and she made contact, but she just couldn't get that angle on the ball. The props to her for laying out for that one. Bethel has a 12 to 10 lead. Maddie Chup back to serve. Oh. Barely out there. Barely out, but I think that was a good call there by Shepard. <laughs> from our angle, oof, it was close. Oh, just a bit off on that hit there. 14-10 is our score now, so Bethel kind of running away a little bit here. Hopefully Tabor can kind of mount a few points in a row here and maybe get some form of comeback on. That'll be an ace for Maddie Chup as they take a 15 to 10 lead. I think Tabor needs a timeout here. quiet here. And there it is. Tabor calls timeout. Time out. Momentum all on Bethel's side as they have a 15 to 10 lead in this fourth set and we will step away for just a moment. 
sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit flemingsministoreall.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202. And we welcome you back here to Tabor College. Out of this timeout, Maddie Chup back to serve. She's been on a little run right now. Tip play by Cathcart. Gets snuffed out. Man, that's going to be a point for the Blue Jays. 15-11 now. And I believe Miranda Aguilar will come in to serve. Big stretch of serves coming up here. Taylor needs to make a little run here get back into this ball game. Cathcart, a key player for the Blue Jays, will come out and Miranda Aguilar in. And there's the tip. 16-11. It's kind of sad to see, but Bethel looks like they're kind of running away with this game. As they kind of did that last set as well. But like we had mentioned, this set determines if we go into a fifth one or not. So we're hoping the Blue Jays force the fifth set here. As another point is going to go the Threshers way. 17-11, six point lead for the Threshers. This is the largest lead we've seen from them tonight, but the Blue Jays popped off to an eight point lead in the second set. Ended up losing that set. So strange things can happen here. As Ellenberg is set up here, and that is going to be a point for the Blue Jays. We'll see if that went hard. Five point deficit the Blue Jays are at here. Running out of room, though. We need to start making a run here. And you can see on that replay, Ellenberg hit that one hard. Nay into serve for the Blue Jays. Hopefully, she can get a little bit of a run back there. That's in. Good call. 17-13. As the replay comes in here, you can see Ellenberg just heating up in this set. Looks like a net violation, and that'll go Bethel's way. So that'll give them the point, 18-13 now. Number five coming in to serve, that is Caitlin Shima. His man Christensen come off the court here. For Cathcart to come back in. That's a block that comes back down into play, so that'll be a point for Bethel. They're starting to step away a little bit. Six point lead, 19-13. Oh. Good snake eyes attempt. Oh, that's the best one. And I've that ever is seen. in. That is the best one that I've is ever in. seen. If we can wow. get a replay on that, that is the best one I have ever seen. <laughs> that was impressive. So Emma really just, I mean, obviously she is just, <laughs> hey, look at that, right over the back of her head. Good 
good effort. Like number 20 for Bethel. 2014 now. Good, good effort by Maldonado to try to keep that one alive. Six point lead. Russell back to serve. Great block there by Emma Rhodes. Another great Tolbert. block. And then another great block there, a combination of Tolbert and Ellenberg. And Emma Rhodes just seems to be everywhere here. Ellenberg hits one in the net there. 21-14, seven point deficit for the Blue Jays here. It is not looking good for the Blue Jays. Another block kept alive, only momentarily. 22-14, eight points is what the Blue Jays need to kind of make this a game once again. There'll be another timeout here by Tabor College as they try to stop the bleeding here a little bit. We will step away for just a moment. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or bodybuild, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. All right, we welcome you back here as Bethel's looking to close it out and the Blue Jays are hoping to stay alive. Eight point lead, Russell to serve for Bethel. Just not getting any good bounces right now. No, nothing's going their way. So 23, 14. Russell should put up quite a few unanswered points in a row. I don't know the exact number, but I think it's definitely above five. I mean. Cathcart, the spike from the back row. And it is now match point in favor of Bethel as they look for one more point to end this one. 24-14. match. Bethel wins it three sets to one tonight. Tabor falls to 0-4 in the conference as Bethel improves to 4-1. That's a tough pill to swallow there. We thank you all for joining us here. I am Casey Williams joined by John Greenball and we hope that you will tune in for our next game. Thank you all for tuning in. Bye. Jack is exceptional at his uh, vertical defending. He kicks that one off and fits.